everyone. Uh, today I'm getting ready to make some turnip greens. I'm getting ready to, to season my pork neck bones. Okay, I got some jalapeno peppers, some granulated onions, and some salt and pepper. This all I'm going to put in my, my uh, turnip greens and pork bones today. Okay, getting ready to add my jalapeno peppers, add a little salt, okay. and a little pepper, a little black pepper. Okay, I'm going to let those cook a few minutes and y'all sometimes when like when this stuff right here this film this foam stuff in there I will remove that okay I usually remove it and I will remove it as soon as I can okay okay I'll be right back okay y'all um as y'all can see I have removed the majority of that foam that was on top of my pork jump bones. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to let these, this boil for maybe 10 minutes or 15 minutes. And I'm going to be right back. Okay, y'all. Uh, as y'all can see, my uh, pork neck bones is over here boiling. And this is what I'm, I'm, I, I got some, some fresh. Uh, turnip greens, and I also bought some bottoms. You no, know, the turnips, the bottoms, the turnips. Well, turnip greens, bottoms, whatever you call them. Well, I got some of those that I'm getting ready to cut up. I'm, I'm gonna have to peel these and cut them up, and I'm getting ready to to peel these, wash these, and get ready to add them to the pot. And as I'm I'm doing that, I have some some short ribs, some kind of some kind of sh uh, short pork ribs that I'm getting ready to season. I'm going to put this in the oven. I said I may as well show y'all how to do these. These are some uh, pork short ribs. Okay. I'm getting ready to add some onion powder. Some onion powder. Can y'all see? Onion powder. Some garlic powder. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put some barbecue sauce on, on these. Okay. Even though they are frozen, these are frozen, y'all. And I'm going to turn them over and do the same thing. Turn them over. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add some garlic powder and some onion powder. Okay. And then I'm going to add some black pepper. And some salt. That's my grandkids back there, y'all. Okay. Let me turn this back over. I'm going to add a little bit more salt. Because I didn't add any salt on this side. And I'm going to add my black pepper. Okay. Hope y'all can see. And I also have some onions that I have chopped up. Getting ready to add these on top. Like I say, these are frozen, but it doesn't matter. All your food doesn't have to be thawed out in order to cook it. Especially if you're making, you know, if you're doing something in the oven, you can always put in the oven frozen. You know what? It, uh, for some reason, it cooks faster to me. For some reason, it cooks faster. Okay, y'all. What I'm going to get ready to do now, I'm getting ready to add some water to this. Okay. Can y'all still see? I'm fix it where y'all can see. I'm going to add a little water at the bottom of this. Okay. 
Let me add some more. Add some more. Okay. Just a little water, just enough for it to look. You can steam. Y'all can see. Okay, now what I'm getting ready to do, I'm recording with one hand, y'all. That's why I'm doing. What I'm getting ready to do, I'm ready to, ready to put some fall over this and put it in the oven and let it cook. Okay, I'm gonna let it bake in the oven, cook in the oven, whatever. And uh, my pork neck bones, they're getting ready. So what I'm getting ready to do, I'm getting ready to peel these turnips and I'm getting ready to pick these greens. I'm going to pick them the way I like them, and, and I'll be right back. Getting ready to add, I forgot about my cayenne pepper, y'all. I'm going to add a little cayenne pepper to this so I can add a little spice to it. Okay, I just want to show y'all that. And Okay. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Okay, as y'all see my... Uh, pork neck bones done cooked down now I'm getting ready to add I done washed and picked and washed my greens I'm adding this let me go out some uh, okay add them to my and you do these greens just like you do the uh, collard greens okay all right y'all I'm getting ready to put the lid back on these put the lid back on them fall down okay y'all y'all I'm back as y'all can see my uh, turnip greens slash mustard greens I got I think I got both of them it's both greens okay. Okay, I'm gonna put these in here this is the last of my uh, bunches of greens you can if you if you don't like these you don't like these uh, a big like I got them see how big I got them you can cut them in, into smaller pieces but I'm, I'm, I'm this is the way I, I want mine cuz I'm gonna cook them till they're really tender so it, it, it they'll still be this is good okay that's it okay I'm getting ready to cut up my turnips and see, I have some turnips. Like I said, these turnips over here. I got these turnips. I'm getting ready to uh, to peel these and cut them up. And I'm going to add them to my uh, greens when they cook down enough. Because, you know, it's not going to take these very long to cook. And so, um, I'm going to wait a while before the, I'm going to let these cook down. And I'm going to show y'all how I do it. Okay, y'all. Okay, y'all. Um, I'm getting ready to kind of season my greens now. I got some of this, uh, you know, the oil that I have left over, like some fried chicken. I'm adding some of that to this. And I'm also going to add some more salt to these. If you like onions, you can put onions in them. In your, um, uh, your turnip greens, mustard greens. If you like onions, go ahead. And you like seasoned salt, they add seasoned salt. So you have some seasoned uh, greens. Okay? You know, some people like, like, if you want cayenne pepper, put that in there. Make it yours, whatever way you like it. Okay, I done added the, my oil. I'm getting it. I'm about ready to add the turnips. Y'all want to see my, my daughter over here? <laughs> you want to say hello? 
Amanda is here. Hey, yeah. Facebook girls. Hey, y'all. Got my voice <laughs> up here. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, she's over there making... Y'all see what she's doing? Chicken salad. <laughs> okay. So, I want to show y'all me adding my oil. Oh, well, it's some grease that I add to mine. Some people may not do this. This what I'm showing y'all how I cook mine. Okay, I'm going to get ready to cover this. And then I'm going to get ready to add the turnips. Hey, okay, y'all, I'm back. As y'all can see, look in this bowl. I done cut up my turnips, and I'm getting ready to add them to the pot. I'm going to cover these up, y'all. I'm putting them up here for now, and then I'm going to cover them so they can cook. I don't know if I need any more broth or anything in here, but I don't think so. Okay. I'm ready to put these down off in there. Let them like steam cook, because I don't want a lot of liquid in my greens. So I'm just putting them down off in there, you know, cover them, and then I'm going to turn them down. I'm going to turn this. Now, if your uh, pot has enough broth in it, and they'll be fine. You don't have to do like I'm doing. But I like to cover mine, you know. I like to cover mine. Because it, it's not going to take these uh, turnips long to cook. Give them a good 10 minutes or something like that. They're, they they done. Okay, cover them up. Me and my daughter-in-law was talking about these turnips one day. I told her I was thinking about the same thing. Didn't we, Nene? Yeah, we was talking about this. Okay. Shout out to Nene. Okay. I'm going to... Probably when this um, video uh, get uh, uploaded, <laughs> Nene tickles me sometimes. Sometimes she come over here. Oh, I seen on video that you could. I said, Nene, that was about two weeks ago. That been about a month ago. She said, what? <laughs> yeah, like when I was cooking a, um, the pecan pie, she came over here. She, she watched it. And... And then she came over here, you have any more pecan pie? I said, Nene, that was way before Thanksgiving. She said, oh, yeah. It takes me a while to, you know, to upload some of my videos. So, y'all, what I'm getting ready to do, I'm going to let these, y'all see, I got them down under there. And see, this meat is tender. Y'all see it? Look, this meat is tender, so we're not worried about the meat. The meat can, I can put it up on top. Okay, I can bring that and those, those uh, turnips can go under there because the meat is ready. As y'all can see the meat is ready. Okay. Okay, y'all. Okay, I'm getting ready to put the lid back on top of this and let it finish cooking. Like, during this process, y'all can see if it has enough salt. Or anything, you know, make sure it's seasoning right. And you can just go ahead and fully season your. If you like other seasonings in your um, greens, in your turnip greens or mustard greens or collard greens, add extra. Y'all don't have to go by what, what I do, you know. Just whatever you want to put in yours. Okay, I'm getting ready to make my cornbread it's not going to be hot water cornbread it's going to be regular cornbread I'm let these cook down okay I think I got the majority of all of them covered you ready to cook my cornbread and there you go let them steam cook some more alright I 
got my daughter here, Amanda. Uh, she is getting ready to to make the cornbread for our turnip greens. Okay, I want her now to put one cup of flour. Here's your cup. You can take that out. One, you need one cup of cornmeal and one cup of flour. We're gonna start off with that. I ain't good at this. Okay. I don't know why she's nervous. <laughs> okay. Now a cup of flour. You can go ahead and just whisk that together okay. right quick. And while you're whisking that together, we're going to put maybe, maybe I'm going to say, a teaspoon of salt. Can you open that for me? Open mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just going to pour it in there. That's probably about a teaspoon. Okay. And then about a tablespoon of baking powder. Put two tablespoons. Two. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, probably about a two tablespoons of sugar. Okay, don't slow, y'all. That's slow fine. rolling. That's fine. Another two. one. Okay. Put one more. And yeah, stir that up. Let me get her the buttermilk. Okay. okay. Oh, get the eggs first. Go get the eggs. How many? Mm, two. One, two. Mm, two. You really don't have to use but one. I'm going to put two in here. Because you're supposed to go by the... Now, this is what I was taught. If it's one cup of flour, one cup of cornmeal, you use um, one egg. But sometimes I go ahead and use two. I don't know why she's nervous. Okay. Let me shake this. Shake the buttermilk up. Okay. Go ahead and add your buttermilk. Okay. How much? Just pour it. Just pour it. I'm going to show them how it's supposed to look. We're going to put maybe a, a cup, half cup. Okay, that's good. And this is what I do also. Go fill this up with water. Okay, okay add some water, just a little bit, about half of that. And I start the. Uh, Okay, add some more water. Oh, 
Okay, this is almost the way I want it to be. Add just a little bit more water. Y'all also have my pan that I'm going to bake this in, in the oven, with some, some of that grease that I added uh, to my uh, greens. Okay, I want you to get some of that oil I got over there in here, right there. Yeah. Put just a little bit. A little bit more. Okay. Now stir that up in there. She's doing a good job, isn't she? <laughs> okay, now I get the uh pot holder and get the I guess she said she already know that <laughs> it's okay I'm saying it for other people <laughs> just in case I know y'all already know not to get that out with uh without a pot holder now she getting ready to get oh this hot in it this what I was taught to do see I have heated up some oil in this pan and what she's getting ready to do is pour it over in there. Okay. I'm trying to get you. Uh, okay. My lens trying to fog up for some reason. Okay. I think it's from these turnip greens. Well, I know those turnips ought to be ready by now. Okay, this is what we I they was they taught us. Go in the edges. Yeah. Yes. And while you're doing that, push it on over there. But you yeah. This this is something my mama. Well, our mother taught us how to do. Right, your mom on my granny. <laughs> yes. Okay, you always get to those edges. Pull that down. Okay, push it up there. Go to each each corner. Don't try this at home. <laughs> Grabbing it. <laughs> okay. That's way you do it. You got all four? All right, now it's ready to go in the oven. Okay, you put it in the oven. And this thing, this oven is hot. <laughs> okay, are you not using a pot holder? Don't try it at home. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all. Well, let me check my turnip greens. Oh, they it's falling up the lens. That's a little. They're not ready just yet. Let me try. Yes, some of them are and some of them didn't. Okay. Let me show y'all. See, it's going through there, but it's not ready. Okay. It's not ready. And let them cook just a little bit longer. Because we're not in a hurry. Because our cornbread just went in the oven. So we're not in nobody's hurry. Okay, let me put my lid back on here. And as y'all see, we cook this as an extra. I'm not going to put this on the plate. All I want is the, the uh, pork neck bones and the cornbread. Mm -hmm. so I have to get some okay. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, there you go. All right, now a piece of cornbread. 
It turned out good, didn't it, y'all? Hey! <laughs> it turned out good. That's all I want right there. Okay, y'all. Well, like I say, this is just an alternative. If they don't want the, the the pork neck bones, they can get some of the short ribs. Okay, pork short ribs. Barbecue. Okay. All I did, I, after I got it out of the oven, I just put the, you know how I did the chicken in the oven? I made the barbecue chicken. Y'all, you can do it just... Add your barbecue sauce, take the juice off the, the meat, and then put your uh, my barbecue sauce on there and put it back in there. Let it stay in there maybe 10 minutes and you're ready. Okay, y'all, we're getting ready to close. Close for now. Are you going to tell them bye? Bye, Chinese Burgers! Since she's I mean, not... YouTubers! <laughs> Say what? YouTube, not Facebook. YouTube. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to say bye-bye. For now, YouTube, I am sitting here with my mom, and we are getting ready to taste the food and my cornbread and uh, <laughs> see how delicious it is. I know it's good, y'all. I love greens, and I add a little hot sauce to my greens. I use not eat hot sauce on my greens, but now you can't get to keep hot sauce out of my hand when you come down the ring. <laughs> okay, you guys. Mm. This is country cooking, y'all. <laughs> y'all know what I'm missing. I told my mom she's a cook. She a cook, a seasonal cook. You been cooking? How mom? How long you been cooking? Mm, probably about over 35 years. Mm -mm -mm. Now y'all see why I stay over here. <laughs> but mommy, this is very delicious, mommy. Y'all, this is good. So, make sure y'all try the recipe, okay? Don't forget to like, comment, they like the kids say, subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye for now.